Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Resident Rise. My name is Brink, and, oops, wrong way. I want to put in XP. Alright, they're all gone. I want to work on the outside today. I want to do some uh, water amenities. I guess it's called amenities or accents? I don't know. Uh, I want to build some pools out here. And I was looking through the NEI menu, and I noticed we have something that'll help us a lot. It's called a fountain. I've never built one of these, I've never used one of these, so I think we can give it a try today and build one. We're missing, what are we missing? Some, some of these. Okay, so uh, that's cooked rubber, I believe. Let's see if we have rubber. I could build it manually. Yeah, let's just take a stack. Should be enough. It makes four each. So we'll put it in this furnace and yeah, it'll go down to the ME. All right, so we can build those plates with the plastic. Oh, spilt it wrong. Here we go. This should be more than enough. Put that in there and let's build a fountain. Yeah. All right, so we got one, and this is MFR, so it's probably gonna need power. It does. Okay, my wireless system is giving it power right now while I, while I had it in my hand. So if I stand over here, it's probably gonna give it power faster. Yeah, it's going up, but it has to be in my inventory because it doesn't recognize on its own. So while I'm holding it, it's gaining power. Let's see, 80 RF, 16 R K RF, it's already full. Yeah, all right. So uh, we do have to get a Tesseract for it though to make it proper because it's gonna be outside. This one looks like it's already done. Let's just make another one and have it done by the time we get back. Let's just fuse quartz. We need a uh, craft for that. That's a definite. There's a lot of Ender IO things that need fuse quartz. So let's figure out, um, is it quartz? Yeah, it is. Oh, this is the one with the glowstone. Okay, so we just want the nether quartz kind, and it goes into an alloy smelter. Easy enough. Nether quartz. And fused quartz. Yep. Yeah. Okay, it's set for processing. Yes, it is. One, two, three, four. And we'll put it into the interface for alloy smelting. Let's look for alloy smelting here. And somebody asked me in comment, can I show how I built this uh, interface ME system or AE system? And I thought, yeah, you know what? I'll do a tutorial for it, a formalized one, not just part of one, not just one part of a, of a let's play. Oh, it was the first one. <laughs> how about that? Um, and I think that would be good. So we'll do one. Uh, wait for that coming up. Uh, let's see. Fused quartz. We'll make a craft for, uh, let's say, 100. We have plenty of nether quartz to be able to do so. And that should start picking up very soon. And so, Tesseract. Now we can build a couple of these. We'll let that run and go. Okay, we have a Tesseract for power. We need a place to set this down. And I'm thinking of making it even. So whatever I do on the right side, I do for the left. And I think it would be nice to have it near the building. But I'm kind of thinking it would also be nice to have it near the middle here. Because we got some space. And although we don't have a clear shot to the sky here, um, maybe it doesn't need to shoot up so high. Uh, it may be safer to do the middle ones first before we do the outer ones. This way... Um, see, because we have more clearance space here, and we, we can sort of uh, give it a test, a test run, so we can see how this works before we do the mo most important ones, the ones that everybody's going to see, which is right near our, our base. And this one has to be delicately done, you know, you know. So let's go for the middle one first. And I'm judging by, ooh, I forgot to do the trunk trunk outlining for this one. I forgot about that. So I, I'm judging that the middle part will be somewhere around here. But let's see. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So whatever space we go from this trunk over to the fountain area 
is the same amount of space that I need to go from here to the fountain area over here. So I'm going to give it a short amount of space. This way I can clear this and it won't be too close to this structure, nor this structure at the end over there. We need to calculate for the future that this will be even with this side here to be even. Uh, let's get rid of this torch here before I forget. Okay, so I think a nice place would probably be here. I don't know, somewhere around here. That looks pretty good. How does it look over here? I think it's a little bit close over here. So let's move it just a, a tad bit more over here. And that should do. Now, uh, a little torch over here so that that goes away. And I'm going to get some blocks and stuff. And then, you know, I'm thinking maybe I should lift the elevation up. This way we can cut across this way and make a path that goes around our building. I've decided against going around this corner because it looks a little bit tight over here. So instead, I may make a path that goes around this way around our building. And I think that'll look really scenic and nice. So should I lift the elevation here a little bit before we go up? Hmm. Yeah, I think I should, maybe a little bit. All right, let me settle the terraforming and I'll be back in in a second, but I'm sure it'll take more than a second for me. <laughs> See you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. I've uh, set the roots on this tree already and I've set a little bit of a path. I've sort of slo gradually sloped it down and then this is the area where the fountain will be. I guess maybe I should widen this a little bit so that we can get a path around it. And then the path will continue that way and slope down to down here. And then, uh, just in case you missed it on a previous episode, what I plan to do is to add bushes around this area, uh, some man-made lakes and stuff like that, just to make it more beautiful. We have a very nice and scenic area. I got to clear up that zombie spawner there. But um, I think it, it'll look nice, and then I'll make this green grass uh, greener. Just a bit greener. Um, I can't help this. I mean, I could sort of maybe wedge it with carpenter blocks, but I don't know that it's even worth it. Uh, I think it'll be fine if we just uh, go like that. So we can get this out of our bar. There's one thing that I want to check before I continue, and it came to my realization while I was terraforming you know, this has an upgrade. So we could probably shoot this higher uh, depending upon that upgrade. We're going to need an ender tank. Well, how am I going to do this? Because we have the Tesseract. Um, yeah, we can use conduit, ender IO conduit and then squish them together underground. I guess that's the way we can do that. All right, so we'll need some blaze rods, a cauldron, and all of that. Let's make a few cauldrons. Stick it into the ME so we don't have to craft them again. And we'll take that. Now we're going to need some dyes. And that's the black dye. And a blue dye. Here we go. Smackety smack. And black. Where's my black? Right there. Okay, let's throw the rest of this junk in there. We don't need the dirt. The oak. And this I think that's set okay good now let's move this and put it on top of this and that'll work now it's got power we just need to feed it some water you're gonna hear some firecrackers in the audio and that's because it's near 4th of July and I'm near a window so that's that's a thing okay so this is it looks like one block here that'll work so let's add a upgrade here. Let's see if I could find it. I don't remember the exact name of it. It's these guys. So it's just called upgrade and then the parentheses. Maybe if I put parentheses, we can clear the rest of it. No, parentheses doesn't accept in the NEI. Okay. So uh, radius increase by one. Let's increase by... Let's do this one with iron and see how far it'll go with that. Stick that there. 
And let's see, so that's one. Boy, it's hard to measure with this. Let's grab some blocks. This will be make it a little bit easier to measure. So that's one. This is one. Okay. Then two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I knew you couldn't go by what it says in the radius thing. Because sometimes it depends on where you're placing the machine. So this was iron. It said it increases the radius of three. That means the diameter of six. And that's why we have six blocks here. So we'll have to measure out there how high we want to go with with our uh, with the fountain. And that'll decide. Boy, it really does shoot pretty good. It, it shoots pretty high. I like that. Uh, let's turn the water off. There's a lot of things that I have to calculate here. Not sure exactly how we're going to do this. Let's stand on solid ground so we can turn this off. We can actually break the fountain. That'll get rid of some of it. And then we can pull her up from where the source was to get rid of the source blocks. Source blocks I'm imagining are all of these. And that should take care of it unless some source blocks started developing over here. That's another thing that I have to keep in mind is that the width of this increases as the height goes up. So we don't want it too high because then it'll look like a sphere. See how round it is? I really wanted something to go straight up and down, maybe two blocks width. Um, we'll see how that goes. But yeah, we, we got source blocks developing here because it's so wide. So I'm going to have to do something like this to get rid of it. Let's see if that'll get rid of some of it. Um, I could I could get a, a BC pump on here. I don't know if I have one available though. That might be the thing to do. A BC pump would work real quick. Uh, pump. Yes, I do have one. Oh, great. Okay. Let's set this pump here and that'll get rid of it real easy. The only thing is I'll have to clear out the middle part. Uh, let's place the pump first, then clear out the middle part. Uh, don't know if this is going to go too well. I should have gotten my atomic disassembler. But the... Um, boy, I'm famous for knowing this. Proboscis is coming down. It'll come down here in a second and clear out all of this stuff. Well, I'm not going to break this. Let me just get out of here. Okay, we're going to need a Tesseract. Give it some power. I don't think it needs a place to go. It probably does. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, energy mode receiving. Let's see if that'll work. It's... Yeah, I think it's clearing it out already. But it's got nowhere to go. Let me just get a tank. Uh, if I had a drum, though, I would bang it in the evening all the day long. Drum! Fill it up with water. Boom! No? Oh, yes. Okay. Alright, so that'll get rid of that water. Made a little bit of a mess here. It'll take a little time. You know what? I'm thinking this is recreating new source blocks every time. I don't think a pump is going to get rid of source blocks if it's recreating the source blocks. I may have to pillar a, a huge amount of nether rack over here to get rid of all of this. All right, let me do that off camera real quick. All right, guys, it turned out easier than I thought. I realized that after building one straight line with a dirt pole like this, all I needed to do was... Just wand it up this way, wand it up this way, wand it up that way, and then take my pick and demolish it all. So it went by pretty quick. Uh, let's put some stuff away. And let's get right to it. Now, the idea is... Ooh, looks like I, I took a diorite. We're going to take some of these road paths, inverted lights, and make it the fountain shape. So what I'm going to do is a simple circle, which will probably go something like this. And you see that it is illuminated. 
And if you know your Minecraft circles, a 2 with a 1 will make a very small circle. And that's about the size that I want. Now, the height of it is the trick, the trick here. Um, I think what I want to do... Oh, <laughs> when you walk on it, it makes you speed up. Okay, what I want to do is get rid of some of this. And it looks like I can't dig through this really quick with this pick. Um, I lost my previous pick. So, I don't think they despawn. I just need to look for it where I lost it. And, uh... I should be able to retrieve it, but until then I built another pick. And so let's get rid of these and place this down. And so now we have a situation, I just realized we have an even number here. I'm going to have to either make this smaller or bigger, I think I'm going to go bigger, because this fountain has got to go somewhere in the center. Now we have some space on this side, so I think I'm going to go out a little bit more. And uh, that'll be three on this side. and. Let's see, three will be our number. I'll have to figure this out offhand. I don't think I can do it offhand though. Uh, because I don't know my Minecraft circles this high up in numbers. So here's three, one, three, one, three, one, three. That works. Okay, so let's get rid of these blocks. And that should be it. And it is bigger, more roomier, which isn't bad. I wish I could stay in there. Let's get rid of these blocks here. Now, of course, this is going to take a little while to do for all these fountains. So I think what I'm going to do is just do one on camera. And then I'll show you the finished product after I've done all of them. Boy, this road really makes you, makes you walk very fast. Some extra steps. Steps I don't want to take. All right, let's put this in... <laughs> I only tapped the mouse there. Let's put this in a center here. And, oh, it's retained some of its power. Um, here's the thing. I don't want this upgrade. Okay, so the upgrade fell when I broke it, which is good. I don't want to use an iron upgrade. We're going to go, we may need an iron upgrade. I just want to test it with a tin upgrade first. Because getting rid of those source blocks is a little bit of a pain. So, I'd rather... Um, work myself up and these upgrades are very cheap so I don't mind making them let's go with the the tier right below it which is 10 and that should work oops I went up a grade here we go and we'll stick it inside the fountain and see how far it'll take us still retaining some of its energy we have the tin here throw that in let's see how far it goes up and it's about to stream over, which I don't want. So it's got to be the one right below it, or I need to make this fountain a little bit bigger. Now, um, do I make the fountain bigger? Well, there is something I can do. I can sort of place little tiny strips on the outer edge, because it looks like it's only flooding over by one block. Just one block. So... No, I won't be able to because I want to lift this fountain up a little bit higher. I do want the fountain higher, but I don't want it wider. Boy, I wish there was a way to control the width. Uh, at any rate, this definitely does... I do want this to go... Ooh, so speedy here. I do want this to go higher. Oh, the water's pushing me out and then I retain my velocity. And that's what's... Uh, you know what? Let me go... Oh, crescent wrench. I forgot about that. Okay. Now, I'm going to have to do what I did before. Pillar up. Wand it out. On every side. And that'll get rid of it. Not all of it. Let's go a little bit wider. Okay, so it's gotten rid of those source blocks. So I just used, reused these blocks on the other side. So what I want to do is bring up the fountain one block higher and then use an upgrade that's one radius lower. I'll bring, I'll bring it back after I've made those things. All right, let's go build the upgrade that we needed. Get rid of this dirt. I was getting rid of the water and clearing up some damage that the water did to the grass around it. 
Um, so the next one was an upgrade. I think it was Lapis. Up. Oh, spelled it wrong. Upgrade. Second page and Lapis. Yes. So this has a radius of one. We'll build one of those. And we have the others. Oops. Went up again. All right. I think we have everything we need to finish this now. We'll just need to make a place for the Tesseract though. Oops. And let me clear some of this out so I can step down here because that's getting kind of annoying. Um, what I want to do is set a place for the Tesseract and for the Ender Tank. Either one, wherever it goes is fine. We'll open this up. And the Tesseract needs to be set to power. That's the only purpose for it. And let's see. So we'll need some conduit. Oh, don't have any conduit. Hopefully I don't have to make any new ones here. Conduit. We'll have a fluid conduit. We don't need a high powered one. So we'll just use this low powered one. And we need a uh, uh, energy conduit. I was going to say electrical. All right. So we'll go down here. And I don't want to send water into the Tesseract because at some point, if there's no mob essence in it, um, it will send in there. And I don't want to do that. So we'll go up a bit. This will be where the fountain is. I think that's a good height. We could go a little higher. Um, and then we'll turn this around. That'll work. And then we'll get some energy conduit in there. And that works. We have to hit each of the nodes. And so everything's connected now, I believe. Let's fly up and see. Yeah, it looks like it's connected. And there's water flowing, so I know that I don't have to set the export always without redstone signal on that fluid conduit. I think it'll be fine. Uh, all right, let's move. put this on top of there. And we'll need to put the upgrade for Lapis in there. Oop, I hope it doesn't fill over. It looks like it's fine. All right, that's exactly the width that I wanted. If we could get this a little bit higher, that might be a little bit better because from here, actually, no, that looks fine. That actually looks pretty good. You know what? Maybe one more block higher. I think I'll do it one more block higher. All right, instead of one block higher, I actually went two blocks higher. Uh, <laughs> but let's see. What I want to do is decorate some of these blocks uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I think it was four. Uh, I want to hide the conduits that are running under the Tesseract and the Ender Tank so that it doesn't show because this kind of shows from this roadway. You can sort of see. I think the height is pretty good. What do you think, guys? But yeah, this, uh, this conduit, you can sort of see it in the daytime. So I want to cover this up and I wonder if I can do something like this. I think that'll at least be better than what it was before. You could sort of see the conduit before. Uh, we need to cover this block here. Oops, aimed badly. Uh, let's see if I can hit that dirt there. Good. All right. I think that's good. I think the last touches that we need for this is maybe some of these. If I can do something like this. I don't know how I'm going to work it out though. Because it doesn't seem to uh, be a good size for this. Or maybe, instead of carpenter blocks, maybe I'll do some some flats. Yeah, let, let's cut these up. I wonder if we can forge them. Forge micro block them. If we take a saw and cut them like this, we can. Yeah, I think that'll work. If I could make a wedge, that would be great, I think. But yeah, we'd run into the same problem with the wedges because in the corners it gets kind of tricky. So let's make another... Alright, we got a good number. We can place these around the uh, the perimeter here. Sort of like that. I think that'll be fine. I can grow this part out a little bit more. And I think that'll work out. And it, it looks like these slabs also illuminate. That's not bad. That's pretty good. 
offer some more light on the subject here. All right, we need two more over here. It looks like two more. Okay, I think it look is looking real good, guys. Okay, so the last scene for this episode, I'm going to show you the finished product. And I'm going to call it here and say thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.